Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I'm out on the road today at Iron Mountain, Michigan, and I thought I'd do a quick video to show you something that I built yesterday that I'm going to be using in future videos. Now, many of us know what a water level is, and we've used it to find true level and eye level when we look at, say, the horizon, for example. And this is a typical design that you would see on a water level. Now on the left you've got a very simple form of a water level. It's just a ring of clear plastic tubing. You notice that this thing has to be hung and then it kind of sways in the wind and just moves around, it takes a while to settle down. One of the things that this particular one uses to try and calm that down a little bit is it adds a little bit of weight to the bottom. It runs it through another clear plastic tube well below the water levels. And it's a good design. On the right, you have a little bit more elaborate design. You've got two plastic tubes connected by some PVC pipe. Now, the problem with this is even though it doesn't sway in the wind, you have to have something relatively flat to put it on. So I got to thinking, is there a better way to design this that would be a little more environmental friendly? Something that you could put on a regular surface, hang from a tree, stick on the side of a chair, you know, it would work in any position. So I got some stuff from the hardware store. So the materials list for this little project is rather simple. I got a roll of clear plastic tubing. It's got a half inch outside diameter and a 3 8 inch inside diameter. Then I got some appropriate T connectors. Now there's three of them here, but you really only need two. The tubing was about $6 and the T connectors were about two and a half bucks a piece. So less than $20 you can make several of these actually. Now what I did was I cut the clear plastic tubing into three 12 inch sections and I attached them to one of the T connectors on the bottom and then I attached them to the T connectors on the top and came up with this structure right here. Then what I did was I filled it up about two-thirds of the way with Windex. Now the reason that I used the Windex is that it's going to stay clear and sometimes there's bubbles on top of it so you get a very clear uh, blue and white border at the top of each of those columns. Now the design on this is very specific. One side is open 180 degrees and the other side is broken into two 90 degree segments. It basically is a T. So why did I choose this? Well obviously this device is freestanding. You just need something basically the size of that little T connector to sit it on. Put a little weight on it and you can line it up so that you've got two very nice water levels that you can measure, say, a horizon. Now one advantage that you have of this triple water level is the fact that you're not restricted to just one angle of view. For example, you can get an angle of view this way. You can also get a camera angle coming this way and one going that way. And you'd get water levels from almost 360 degrees all the way around. Even, even a level like this is somewhat useful. You know, you can compare the water levels here to the one in the back and get a very precise water level. Now say you don't have a good flat surface to put this on, but you've got a corner of a, of a railing or something or other that you can hang it on. You just loop it over the top of it. You use one of the loops to stabilize it and read off of the other two loops. It's very easy to do. And if you do need to hang it off of something, you've got a, a wide flat surface to stabilize it. And then you can read off of two of the other loops. You know, this triple water level is very convenient to use. It's small. It doesn't leak. You can just toss it in the back of the car and, you know, just take it wherever you want set it down, and then you can use it in combination with your camera or an iPhone theodolite application anytime you need to confirm what eye level or level is. Well guys, thank you for stopping by. The main purpose of this video was to show you that you can make good quality measurement equipment on the cheap. You don't need to go out and spend $20,000 on a ring laser gyro. You can check the horizon with a $15 piece of tubing and some Windex. So, my hope is, is that some people will go out and build this thing and maybe use it in some of their videos. This is something that flat earthers can do when they want to say that the horizon rises to eye level. We don't have to take their word for it anymore. They can actually build a device like this and go out and show us that the horizon rises to eye level. 
What's wrong with that? So signing out from Northern Michigan, this is Bob the Science Guy. If you have a moment, go down and hit that little like and subscribe button. I'd love to have you on Team Bob and we'll do some science together. So see you soon and thanks for stopping by.